Sunny 104.5, Wilmington's best mix. While you wake, that'll wake you up. You can't touch this. I'm doing the running man. MC Hammer (laughs) by request. This is Greg Thomas. Sheila Brothers. It is uh, 643. Yes, and it is 45 degrees. Craig and Sheila show welcomes a special guest. I believe we have some video to kick that uh, that off. Make let's, let's make some uh, some memories uh, and uh, show you uh, the first time oh. we had her on uh, our introduction <laughs> oh, at the time. Oh. Um, I went into the coaching field, a brief stint in the professional leagues, but then I went to Prairie View A and M University, and I was hired and given my first opportunity by Charles McClellan, and he's here tonight. So I want to thank you very much, Charles. And Roy Perry, thank you for all the support you, you've given to the university and to myself. Thank you very much. Um, and then I traveled. I continued my journey. I continue my journey. I want to reinvent myself, and this is what I do. I go to the other coast. Grew up in Watts, started in Watts, but now, now I'm not comfortable with that. I don't want to stay there. No, I want to grow. I want to be something special. I want to be something else. And so I journeyed to the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Sorry, Mike, I had to take over your old stuffing grounds. My bad. And now I'm at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, as their head coach. Um, Thank you to Kelly Mertens for taking a chance, I thought, taking a chance on me. And Dr. DiPaolo, uh, Rosemary DiPaolo, Chancellor DiPaolo, thank you very much. Boy, it doesn't Um, seem like much of a chance now, does it? (laughs) That was our introduction to our special guest who uh, joins us this morning. Uh, you, 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 see, you had to put your fingers in your ears for that? Yeah, yeah. I hate, I hate hearing myself speak. Why? Uh, good morning, Craig and Sheila. Good What's morning. up? Good darling. Hey. Coach My Sophia gosh. Cooper Dykes, and we can't uh, thank you enough for getting up uh, this early to be with us uh, in studio. Well, my twins, they, they, they nudge me. Mom, it's time to get up. Go get on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> are they watching? Are they listening? Are they, they, they are listening. They're, they're yeah. getting ready for school. They better be getting ready yeah, for, right. for school. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's it's a great morning show. Um, I, I'm really proud of my team and 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 all of the success we've had this year, and they've played very hard for me. For those who who didn't know, uh, that was uh, your induction ceremony, your speech at the NBA Hall of Fame, and uh, we. We all that was a big took, deal. took pride yeah. in that because you're totally one did. of us now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, being in the, in the Hall of Fame is, is um, well, actually being a champion is, is one thing. But being um, elected into the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame for, for me was, was incredible. It's too big of a dream to dream. It's, it's something that is just too big to, to strive for. But to, to actually have achieved that, that goal is, is, has been special. Wow. And now uh, you're, you're setting records here. I can't, uh, well, it's been years since there's been a postseason play even talked about yeah. uh, for the women's program of uh, UNCW. And a great year for both the men and the women's. But you have, I mean, an incredible. How many wins again? 23 wins. Uh, 23 wins, the most wins in, in, in uh, UNCW Lady Seahawk history. And, um, you know, first and foremost, I just want to say Buzz has done a great a great job uh, this year, uh, Buzz Peterson. He's, and I know he has his guys coming in next year, and I'm, I'm excited to see um, what he does next year with, with, with the guys. Um, but we... We have uh, a couple seniors, a couple three seniors, um, Martha, Treasure, and, and Brittany. All three seniors really bought into our system and, and believed in the coaching staff, and, and everyone else followed. Uh, they followed suit, and, and you, it's hard to come in as a new coach and really turn it around if you don't have the seniors. Well, I'll yeah. tell you who else followed, and that's the fans. I mean, I, we could see the yeah. increase along the uh, the season as uh, trash. You could, I mean, you could see it just building the, the fan base and, and more and more people coming in. and. It was just great to, to see that. That's, that's again. It's been a long time since. So well, winning w- winning helps that. Craig. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, winning. We tried to put. A, not only did we try to win, but we tried to put a product out on the court that the fans, uh, the student body, and the city of Wilmington could be proud of. Um, student athletes that go to class, that do do their job uh, academically, and at the same time play with passion and energy and, and an exciting style of basketball. So we tried to do that right from the beginning, um, and then the, the fans showed up. The the city of Wilmington support us in a huge way so I want to thank them I want to thank the student body I know everyone is out at, at some on someone's beach right now for spring break but the student body w- really um, gave us a lot of support and, and we, we want to continue to to generate that support and earn uh, the support of the city well speaking of uh, what you've earned uh, I as a fan 
am not disappointed, but I realize that uh, the ultimate goal is the NCAA tournament. Yeah. But last night we found out that uh, it is indeed postseason play for the women's Seahawks. That's great. And it's the NIT. You can't be disappointed with that. Well, I'm not disappointed in getting um, our first um postseason play, birth to a postseason play. Um, yeah, of course, we wanted the NCAA, and we held out hope up until the last minute for, for NCAA at large birth. Um, but it should have been, let me just say. Yeah. It should have been. But we had 23 wins, so we, yeah. we made a pretty strong case mm -hmm. for it. But I will tell you that um, I am not disappointed with the WNIT birth. Um, it's the first in, first postseason play in the history of the Lady Seahawks. So for that, I'm, I'm yeah, extremely not proud. Too yeah, there. I'm, you know, yep. Sheila, I'm proud. I'm proud of the girls I, I really am and, and right from the beginning we wanted um, our seniors to have their first postseason play and and we're able to give them that this year and so we're very proud I am I, I I'm so proud to say that th this is the first time I've been able to make illegal bets on you and oh, <laughs> Craig with, 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 oh, you can't do that I got my bracket <laughs> I got my bracket yes I'm sorry uh, uh, what's wrong I'm with you talk about that but let's give everybody uh, the, the what you do know at this point uh, when and who it's going to be well what we know what we learned at 11:44 p.m. <laughs> which is way wow. past my bedtime uh -huh. um, we learned that we we're going to play Richmond in Richmond, we're not sure what time. It's probably going to be around six, seven o'clock um, p.m. And that's um, this Thursday. This Thursday. Okay. Uh, so we'll probably leave tomorrow uh, early to to get up to Richmond. And I know they used to be Richmond used to be in the in the CAA, so um, there'll be probably some a little rivalry mm -hmm, there. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I think we match up well with Richmond, and um, and we're up for the challenge. The spiders are no friends of ours. So <laughs> take care of business I don't like when spiders you get it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a program we know a little about. How much of the team do you know about at this point? Don't know much about the team, and I know my coaches are, are hard at work doing the scouting report, getting film, and um, so that we can get prepared today and tomorrow for for Richmond. Um, and but right now we we also want to take in the fact that. We have achieved one of our goals that we set for ourselves early in the year, and that was to make it to postseason play for the first time in the history of our program. So um, we're ranked in the, in the top 25 of uh, the College Insider poll. We're number 16. Once again, That's the cool. highest ranking we've ever had. Nice. Um, and so we're excited. Right now, we, we have no reason not to be proud and excited, and, um, and I know my, my team is. Wow. Well, I, I know you're proud. The team's proud. Well, let us just say we are proud. Can't touch the it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. On a great season. And I'm not, I'm not going to ask. I, I'm gonna, not going to ask if you make this promise about uh, the coming season next year because I, I want this one to just, I want us to saturate in this one for a while. Are you ruining this? If you moment. come back, you come back after, uh, after winning the NIT. And, uh, and talk about next season. Would you do I that? I sure will. I will. It's my promise. Oh, you yes. ain't ruining oh. nothing. That was a great question, oh. Craig. Leave, ne <laughs> just leave next year till next year. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. I think we have some more of that, uh, that old uh, uh, video that uh, will make uh, Coach uh, Cooper Dykes put some fingers this. back in That's right. ears. All right. So it is uh, 651. And it is 45 degrees. The Craig and Sheila Show. The latest weather coming up. 45 degrees. And 655, five away from 7 o'clock. Local news, traffic, and weather at the top of the hour. And the early show after uh, that on CBS uh, 10. But uh, right now we're going to go back and make uh, one more memory. Back when she was uh, known as Super Coop from the induction she ceremony. She still is in my book. The <laughs> NBA I'm just saying. Hall of Fame. And nowhere was she more super than on the league's biggest stage, where she fueled the rise of the Comets. The Houston Comets are the first ever champions of the WNBA. Along with her fellow stars Cheryl Swoops and Tina Thompson, Cynthia built Houston into the league's powerhouse. The Houston Comets have won their fourth straight WNBA championship. Cynthia Cooper was able to take the pioneering spirit and not only launch a league, but launch the dreams of young girls all around the world. Everybody loves Cynthia. You had to love how she played. She played so hard. She played with such great energy. She was just one of the greatest players to ever play the game. 
welcoming Cynthia to the Hall of Fame is Ann Myers Drysdale, class of 1993. Ladies and gentlemen, Cynthia Cooper. Uh, here's my favorite part. Oh, boy. Okay, it's coming up. I Get told, to the TV. I told her she's the only one I know, the only woman that's done this in public and gotten and... away with it. And look for the tap. Oh, oh come yeah. on. you got to love that. Yeah. Uh, who was I'm talking about? Everybody who that was. That was Scotty Pittman. Yeah. I was like, hey, oh, you fellow know classmate. Hey, right. you know. <laughs> keep your head up. Keep one your head my, up. One of my favorite bulls in the 90s. Oh. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I love being a female last night. I know. We can, get, we can get away with that. Uh, you yeah, boys they, can't they, get away with that. No, we, we can't. <laughs> I didn't even know I did that until <laughs> I got so back Craig to Wilmington. That's her story, and like, she's still I'm saying, I got back to Wilmington, and, and Jay Lee, my assistant coach, was like, uh, I saw the tap on the butt. <laughs> That's great. You're like, what tap? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And of course, the video. Once it's on video, yeah. it's over. Forget there it. you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll be following you, uh, of course, through the NIT and years beyond, I hope. Well, thank you so much, Craig. Right. Thank you, Sheila, for having me. Thanks, Miss Cynthia. Stay tuned for all the details. If you missed the uh, game times and then who they're playing, uh, we'll repeat those for you. Mm -hmm. uh, not only in the next hour, but the coming days. We got your days. back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, local news, traffic, and weather next. And the early show on CBS 10, have a sunny day.